Hey y'all, this is Rawhide. Raw, do you wanna say hi, bud? This is Rawhide. Um, he's a stallion, he's a sweetheart. And I am just, I thought I would do a quick video because guess what I'm here doing? Cleaning excrement. And we talked about this in my Zen video that there's a joke in Zen that the higher up you go, the more excrement you clean up. And um, so I thought it was, I just thought I would just remind you guys, let me see if I can show you the mountains back here. There you go. I thought I would just remind you guys um, that whatever you're doing today is holy. That holiness is a quality that we bring to things. And we can bring that beautiful holiness and that beautiful love to whatever it is that we're doing. And in that moment, feel like what we're doing is perfectly worthy and and really bring our best to it and bring what we have to give to it. And, you know, this is an example. I'm here cleaning stalls. I'm thinking about like, oh, I have, you know, all these other things to do today. And um, what order am I going to do them in? And how am I going to get it done? And then it's like, oh, but I'm not, when, you're do when I'm doing that, I'm not um, cleaning the stalls with integrity, you know? I'm not bringing that integrity here. And if I'm not bringing that integrity here, how am I going to bring that integrity in all the big things that I want to do? If I'm not bringing that perfect integrity and presence in my relationships, in each relationship that's coming into my life today, whether with horses or with people that I'm meeting, just actually being there, you know, to, to say hello for just, or whatever it is for a, whatever your interaction is, just bringing that holiness and that reverence to it. And that's it, guys. Whatever, where is he? He's behind me. Oh, he's playing with his ball. Yes. He wants to show you guys that. I think he knows I'm videoing him. Good boy, Ra. He's licking. Um, so just reminding you guys that whatever it is that you're doing today is holy. And you get to bring that to it. And again, you know, I know that I already talked about this, but it's just like, for me... It's such a, it's a moment to moment activation and coming back. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys again. It's like when you come back to that moment of presence, when you decide consciously to open the heart and to come to that energy of at least willingness, of being willing to see how you can bring reverence to this moment, of being willing to see what it is that you in each and every moment and each and every breath and each and every task and each and every experience have to give to each other. You know, guys, I really think it's like, it's the quality and the vibration that we bring to every experience that really determines where we go. Like what we keep creating more of is what we feel. So for me, you know, an example of that too with this is like, I want, I desire, I deeply desire to, to have a spiritual life, to be in touch with spirit. And that comes from a place of peace. You know, that comes from a place of presence. That comes from a place of reverence. So I don't wish to engender or, um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Encourage the energy. Uh oh, there's a lawnmower coming our way. You guys hear that? I don't wish to engender or encourage the energy of hurrying and so, or mindlessness or, or that stress. And so with all of the little chores that we have to do, that energy that we're bringing to it is really what we're asking for more of. And things are going to show up that allow you more and more naturally to, to feel more of that energy. So it's like if I start feeling like hurrying around and stressed and get things done now, then that's the energy I'm creating and just more things are going to come into that. But if I can bring that reverence and that peace that I wish for my biggest dreams to emanate, my biggest goals and my biggest visions, if I can bring that now to every moment and every little thing like cleaning rawhide stall and, and like in each, you know, and grooming him and touching him and, and in my relationships with every horse I'm interacting and feeding the horses, um, in talking to my cousin on the phone, in having a cup of coffee with my mom, in, you know, having a difficult, having, um, you know, difficult conversations about changes, like just, okay, like it's really overwhelming. How are we going to get through this whole change? But 
if the energy that I want any change to bring is calmness and fluidity and presence and peace and reverence, then all I, all that's necessary for me to focus on is just being here for that, just being present and then giving the rest to the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Giving the rest to the Holy Spirit, giving the rest to God, giving the rest to Source. I think he's jealous of the camera, guys. <laughs> All right. Peace out. This is raw. I want to hear what you guys are up to, like, and how you're making it holy. What are you guys up to in your lives, and how are you making it holy? That's what I want to hear. Or just anything you want to share. But All right. He's, he's licking in a chewing. Do you want to say bye, Ra? Do you want to look one more time? And can you guys see Peter's over here, too? Ra, Ra, hey. Do you want to say bye? Do you want to say bye? Do you want to touch the phone? You want to touch the phone? Good boy. Good boy. 